This is a demonstration of SRS1 Cubic Spline for Excel, which is a free add-in for Microsoft Excel, which adds uh, cubic spline interpolation, linear interpolation, and a few other types of spline interpolations to Microsoft Excel. It's made by SRS1 Software LLC and can be downloaded from www.srs1software.com. So when you install the add-in, you get a new tab in Excel uh, that's titled SRS1 Splines. I'll go over uh, what's on the ribbon here. Uh, the main functionality of the add-in comes from the, the, uh, the new workbook functions which it adds to Excel, which I'll be showing you. But uh, there are a couple of things on the ribbon here that uh, I'll just mention. There's uh, uh, links to our website for more help and demos. There's a link to uh, on our website uh, information about another product that we have called Data Curve Fit Creator Add-in, which uh, uh, has more powerful curve fitting and data analysis functions that it adds to Excel. Uh, there's a link to this uh, uh, refresh repair button, which if you have a workbook which was created with an older version of the SRS1 Cubic Spline software, and if there are any uh, broken links in the workbook, you can click on that and it will fix uh, those broken links. There are also a couple other uh, functions here for you know to automatically check for updates uh, for the software. Uh, there's a link to register the software and also uh, a link to give instant feedback. You can uh, click on that and type in a comment, suggestion, anything you want and uh, that uh, suggestion will immediately be sent to us and, and of course we always welcome feedback about our software. So let's get started uh, and let me show you what uh, how the software works. So I've got some source, uh, I've got some data set up here that we can use. I've got some source data points that I want to uh, interpolate uh, on. Now these data points, uh, the input values, x values go from 1 to 6 in actually in irregular intervals. Uh, they, you, you don't have to have regular intervals for the software to work. And also, you don't have to have the soft the data points in order for the software to work. They can be out of order as well, and uh, it will still do the interpolation uh, fine. So, uh, I also have set up a set of uh, sampling points that uh, I'm going to use uh, to to uh, demonstrate this. And the sampling points go from one to six in small intervals of. 0.1 each step so that we can see exactly what the interpolation curves are doing in between each of the data points. So to start with an interpolation, I'll start with a linear interpolation. And what, I, what uh, I'm going to do is I put the, the cursor in the cell where I want the uh, value to go. Uh, I can say equals and then go to the insert function, standard Excel insert function button. And now you notice that there'll be this new function category in Excel when the software is installed called SRS1 splines dot functions 25. This is it says 25 because this is the this is version 25 that I'm demonstrating right here. But if you click on that you see the four functions that are available in this version. You've got uh, uh, a Bessel spline, a cubic spline, linear interpolation, and a one-way spline. So I'm going to start off with the linear interpolation say OK and then the standard Excel function wizard opens up. It asks for the source X and Y data, so I'm going to go and select that. Now I'm going to hit F4 after I choose my X values, my source X values, because I want that to be an absolute reference. You notice that uh, doing so adds the dollar signs there so that when I copy the formula down into other cells it always is going to be referring to the same uh, source data. Next I'll choose the Y values. Again, hit, uh, hit uh, F4, and uh, now I'll choose my input point right here. Say OK, and I've got my interpolation here. Now I'm going to double click here to copy the values down so that it does the interpolation for all the sampling points. And I've already set up before the demo the uh, plot so that it would plot out the values here. And so you see the, uh, in this case, the uh, linear interpolation that's plotted in, in red there. So that's pretty much how it works. Um, next I will show the cubic spline. Now the cubic spline takes the same input arguments as the linear interpolation. So uh, if I want I can just change the 
name of the function here to cubic spline and all the input uh, arguments are the same. I'll say OK and take a look at the curve just as I'm copying down uh, the values and you can see the change and you see how it went from linear interpolation to cubic spline how it suddenly became curvy when you know when it was a cubic spline. So that's that's pretty much how it works. Pretty pretty simple and exactly the way that uh, uh, the Excel built-in functions work. Uh, what I want to show you now is a couple of the other functions. I mentioned the Bessel spline and the one-way spline. So in order to do that, I'm going to grab another data set, which I think will demonstrate the benefits of those splines. And I'm just going to paste that in here. And this new data set, you notice. Uh, is a little bit different. The, the slope is very shallow in one half and then very steep and then very shallow again in the second half. And if you have a cubic spline interpolation as it is right here, sometimes you can get overshoot and some unwanted sort of oscillation or wiggles in the curve between the data points. And you might not want that. And, uh, and so that's why we have the other types of interpolations. The Bessel spline, I'm going to start off with that, is uh, another type of a spline, but the Bessel spline uses a parabolic uh, fit as opposed to the cubic spline, which uses a, a third order polynomial fit, you know, for the interpolation internally. So let me go and I'll change that over to the Bessel spline. And, uh, and the benefit of, of that is that sometimes it will give uh, a little bit more of a constrained result and a little bit fewer of the uh, overshoot and unwanted sort of oscillations that you get from the cubic spline. So if you don't want the overshoot, uh, you can try the Bessel spline and see how that turns out. So right now I'm going to copy down the Bessel spline values and you'll see the curve change as it goes from the cubic spline to the Bessel spline. I'll do that right now. And you notice that uh, there was a, uh, a reduction in the amount of overshoot that uh, that we got. It's a little, it's the Bessel spline is definitely more constrained and you get less of the overshoot compared with the cubic spline. Now the last type of spline that I'm going to show is can be very useful as well. This is the one-way spline, which is a monotonic spline. And what that is, that's probably the most constrained spline of, of the set that we've got. And what that does is, if your data set is monotonic, if it's only increasing or only decreasing, then your resulting spline interpolation will also be monotonic. And, uh, and so in this case, the, uh, the data set is monotonic. So if I change over to a one-way spline, and I'll hit enter, and before, now I haven't copied all the values down yet. Uh, I'll do that now and then you can take a look at the curve to see how it changes as I go from the Bessel spline to the one-way spline. I'll do that right now. And you notice how that really straightened out the curve and uh, it's much more constrained and it's, it's, you get almost none of the uh, uh, overshoot or wavies or you know, unwanted oscillations. So the one-way spline can be really useful, especially if you have some noisy data or anything like that. And even if you don't have monotonic data, you can still use the one-way spline. It won't if you, if your source data isn't monotonic, then your uh, the spl the resulting uh, interpolation that you get with the one-way spline won't be guaranteed to be monotonic. But it will still be a lot more constrained than any of the other uh, splines. So it can be a really useful spline as well. So that's really what I wanted to show. Uh, again, you can download the software from www.srs1software.com and uh, the software is totally free, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Thank you.